There are three types of templates that you can add to each of your Memeo slides. One of the first types of templates is a question template, which allows you to build in your question, your answers. The results template would be tied to that question. It allows you to see the overall results of each particular question. And there's a variety of ways to display that data. And then the third type of template you can add in is a session result template. This could be on a standalone page or it could be tied into your existing page with a question template. But it shows the overall session results of your polling situation. So let's create a brand new page and let's go to our Memeo Gallery by clicking the Gallery icon. And with my gallery open, you'll notice that there's a Question and Results folder. I need to maximize that folder and go to the Questions folder. Inside of that questions folder are a variety of pre-built templates. I'm going to bring in a true-false question, bring it over by simply dragging and dropping, or I could double-click it. I can resize this simply by clicking on the corner and maximize it to however big I want it. And at this point, I'm ready to type in my first question. So as soon as I have my question done, you'll notice on the true-false, it's already pre-formatted. However, I can choose somewhere where the answers are and choose the correct answer by clicking on one of the radio buttons. Of course, snow is precipitation, so I'll leave it as true. The other thing I want to demonstrate is if I go down here to the bottom right, there's an icon that allows me to edit this question. Three things that I can do. I can at any time change the format of the answers from true-false to multiple choice the feedback that my students will see on screen when they choose the correct answer, as well as the weighting of the question. So whenever you're happy with your three settings, choose the green check mark and go back to your question. And at this point, now, now I would want to add in a results template. So I can come over here to the results folder, bring in a results template of my choice. I'll bring in the 2D donut. And you'll notice that this will not update or anything until I've turned on an active voting situation. So I'd have to use my uh, Memeo vote system, handheld units. Otherwise, this just holds there. Uh, I can come in here and click on the bottom right icon, change the variety of ways that the data will be presented, the colors, as well as the data format. When I'm happy with my settings, click the green check mark, and as easy as that, I have my first question built in. To create another question, I can come up here to the new page, or one of the things I like to do is to come over here to insert duplicate page. And what this will do is it will create an exact copy of this question format. Uh, and it will also start to automatically number my questions. There's no numbering that I have to do. It's automatic. All I have to do now is come in here and change my question. And you'll notice as I change my question, it's not really a true false question. So I can come down here and edit that question, make it into a multiple choice, go back to my question, and come down here and type in my correct answers. And once I have the correct answers put in here, I'll again want to make sure I choose the correct response, which is, of course, the Memeo vote. I can come over here to my results uh, template, change the format if I want to any other variety that I'd like to choose. And one of the things I'll add on this slide is a session results template. So I'll just click on one of these, bring it over. Again, you'll notice on these results template that I will be able to change the way that that information is viewed. So I can automatically change that or leave it alone. And again, this will update as soon as I turn on my polling feature. Uh, by the way, if I want to get rid of the blue border, all I have to do is select each item and right click and choose lock. And uh, that's the same thing with any interactive item that I want to do. So I can do that with all my boxes. Let's go back and let's start the polling feature. To start the polling feature, what I need to do is either click on uh, the polling feature button right there, or in my Memeo Vote uh, window down here, start polling. And with my handheld units in front of me, they all light up. My students can key in the responses. You're seeing down here at the bottom how many students are responding. I can end the polling st uh, situation at any time. And as soon as I do that, it reveals the answer, but it also shows the breakdown of that question. I can move on to my next question. It will bring in the overall results of uh, the session so far. And uh, again, I can turn on the polling situation by uh, clicking the start polling. And as I do that, my students key in their responses and I can stop it. And it's going to show me the overall results of this question, but the overall results of this session. So it's really that simple. So through the use of your Memeo vote system, it allows you to get phenomenal results. Uh, it's a great way to get informal or, or formal data from your students. If you have any other uh, questions, of course, visit our website at memeoconnect.com. If you have any questions, please don't hesitate to contact us at memeoconnect.com slash askmaster. Have a fantastic day.